I'm now looking at assignment one. We have a project of a Gantt chart. We'll look at what it is probably in the operations research uh, subject, but we want to play around with that and use various features of Excel. Let me show you what we want to do at the end. Suppose we have this chart and what I want is that when I click in suppose this cell M1 I want a sum of M1 in this cell. If I click on some other row I want the sum of these five cell. So based on my selection if I select on some place or some row I want a sum of that row uh, in a cell which is far off at the top so that if I select somewhere I can still find out like how much hours are there in this week and so on. So we have different people working on different projects. Each project has a start date and an end date. We have some budgeted hours to complete that project. Uh, some When some days pass we want to find out how much that project is complete. And when we have many people, we have this different distribution. Now to make this happen, that when you click on some place, you get the entire sum of uh, different weeks. We are going to use conditional formatting. We are going to use uh, a VBA function. And we are going to understand what a volatile function is and how to use indirect and offset. So let me quickly go and talk about this. So we'll first look at conditional formatting. Uh, the conditional formatting uh, formats a particular cell based on a logic. Then we'll look at the offset, indirect and address commands which are in Excel. Then we'll look at a current cell VBA command we try to make it volatile and it gets clicked up by conditional formatting. We will understand the meaning of the word volatile. Then we will look at loops in VBA. We will understand how to create a custom function and how to pass value through function. So these are the study goals that we plan to achieve by using this assignment. Okay, uh, let's move back to the file. So first, we will look at how to look at conditional formatting. If you go to conditional formatting and then you click manage rules, you would see a lot of rules here. Now, the rule that makes this conditional formatting one it's this one. We'll go deep into this. And you have to do some other things to make it work. And once you have the conditional formatting, the next step is to create an active cell function. What an active cell function would do is give you the location of the place that you have clicked in a particular cell. So this is a public function of active cell. Now when you have this function, you can use the function of row uh, to find out where this function is taking you to. So that you get to the relative. So the next part was VBA, the next part was indirect. What indirect would do is give us the row number when you give it J1 and the column number of J1. So you get the row number. Now based on I subtracted minus 12 and minus 3 because when I want to use the function offset to go down and take some of a particular cell, I want to move down like somewhere here and move right. So if I want to take a sum of this five cells, I'm using an offset function with a sum function so that I get the sum of this number. So if you observe here, this is 25.6 and this also is 25.6. So in this way, I have achieved this feature in Excel 
by using some of the functions and we would look at how these functions behave slowly in the class.